Hello, hello. Good morning. Happy Thursday, everybody. Uh, my name is Hanny Mora, and welcome to episode 13 of our live training. Wow, lucky number 13. I uh, hope everyone's having an awesome week. Uh, we've been up to some really good stuff here, and in this live training, I'm going to share with you what we've been up to and kind of how to get access to this or apply to get access to this early so you can be our beta tester and give us even more feedback. So first of all, welcome. Um, if you're here uh, watching on our page or watching our group, leave a comment, say hi. You know, I'd love to see who's around. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to, to dive into this. Uh, unfortunately, our, my co-host, Young Pratt, she's not available to make it today. Um, it's her daughter's birthday, which is actually a way more important day than uh, being here. But, you know, we're going to miss her today because she's been leading our trainings and being there for us and, and actually inspiring us to do these trainings every month or so. So, you know, we miss we miss Young and we'll catch up with her next uh, month in our next training. So we just want to quick hi to Vinny, Wes, uh, Jack, we hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Awesome. Good afternoon. So people are tuning in from all around. I'm excited to show everyone what we've been up to. Uh, so, um, all right, just gonna have a quick sip. I apologize. I've been on the on the run this morning. Just go, 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 go. Okay, so what are we here to talk about today? We are here to obviously do our monthly training. So you can ask questions about repurpose, anything you want, even if it's not related to what I'm going to show you uh, today. But you know, keep those questions on, keep them on standby, and uh, I will be answering the questions kind of the second half. So I'm going to spend about 10, 15 minutes just showing you what we're up to because I know people are excited. I've been getting some cool emails from people already putting their hand up to be beta testers uh, for this, even though they haven't seen it yet. So that makes me happy. That makes me excited. Um, all right. So why don't we just jump right in? So, you know, what are we doing? Uh, we have, well, we've had, we currently have a feature that lets you convert any video that you have, uh, typically in a horizontal video, and make it into a, a, a vertical video or a square video with a nice title across the top, uh, with uh, your captions burnt into the bottom, or if you don't have captions, you can have some static text, like a call to action. We call it a subheadline. So what we're doing here is we took that a step further. So right now it's very simple. You have a, you know, you choose a color for the text, choose color for the background, choose color for the progress bar. And that's the only flexibility that you have with that video. We call it a video to video conversion. So what we want to do, what we've been working on, actually, we would, based on feedback from you guys, is we wanted to give this almost like a, I don't want to say super universal, but we want to make it very flexible for people who want to design their own templates. So you can design inside our app. You can, we've built a design template builder. So you can go in, design the template, you know, tell it where you want the title to be, where you want the video, um, what font style, what font color. Um, you kind of move things around in a nice visual way, kind of like Canva in a way. Yeah, not as you know detailed as Canva, but the same idea. It's a very visual tool, drag things around, and you can basically build a template that can be applied to every single episode, uh, sorry, every single video we generate for you so that you don't have to sit there and design, redesign, every single time you want to publish a video you design a template once you apply that to your workflow and then the second cool thing is we actually had a feature so that let's say you want to tweak it for a certain episode like let's say episode number two or video number two i want to you know change the, the color of the headline or i want to change the font or i want to play around with an individual uh, video you can do that as well so that you can actually take an individual video while you hit publish, it pops up, it gives you a kind of a semi preview of what it looks like. Then you can change things around even for that specific episode without changing your template. So it's really cool. It's really powerful. Uh, it helps you still go automatic. So you have templates to go on auto templates if you want to be consistent, but also on an individual episode or individual video, you can actually publish and tweak all that you want inside that. So. Yes, Wes is already excited. He wants to be a beta. I love it. I love it. So I'm going to throw this up right now. Um, basically, if you want to be a beta tester, we, obviously we can't take everybody. Um, 
I mean, I'd love to take everybody, uh, but uh, basically, sorry, I'm just typing this little in the banner here. If you head over to repurpose.io, you can apply. So repurpose.io slash beta. Uh, I can't spell today, so apologize. I thought I had this set up before, but I guess I didn't. Uh, let me edit that. So be a beta tester. Very simple. Go to um, repurpose.io slash beta and just fill out a form. It's just two questions. Just ask for your account, email, and you know if, what, if you're already using this feature or not. So I wanna clarify, this is only for video to video. Uh, so if you're taking a video that's horizontal, you're making a vertical, you're making it square, this template builder is for you. If you're taking audios to videos, we're still working on that. So that's not ready yet. So we're only looking for people who do uh, video to video conversions. Whether you use captions or you want to use a static text a subheadline, it doesn't matter. You still can help us out. It, you know this. You know this. This tile videos are where the people that we're looking at. Uh, so repurpose.io/beta. Thank you, Nancy. Tanya, awesome, awesome. Yes. So, well, let me just show. You. I haven't showed you yet. Everyone's excited. I love this. Uh, so let me just show you this, again. Just bear in mind, it's still early. It's not available yet. It will be another week or two available to beta testers. And then as we get more feedback, as we refine, we make it sharp, we make it, uh, you know, make it solid, you know, like good, good, solid product. Um, then we'll release it out to more and more people, right? So beta testers, just keep in mind that, you know, it's still early in development, but, you know, the end product looks good. And you know, I'm excited to get your feedback because really I have a vision, the team has a vision, but you guys as users are um are what people like what really matter to us right you guys are the users of, of our platform okay let's jump right in enough talk let's do some showing so let me just switch over here and going back to here all right so here we are this is our 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 test environment so let me just make sure you can still see my screen yeah, we're still good. Okay, so what does this what does this look like? So once you apply for beta, once we turn this on for you on your account, again, it might be one or two weeks before we make that available to a few people and then we ramp that up slowly, you will see a new section here called custom templates. And just a heads up, I, I can't monitor the comments right now, but I, you know, I'm gonna be jumping back and forth. So please ask away. And if I don't answer it right away, give me a few minutes, I will jump back to the comments and answer. So whatever comes to your mind, just drop your thoughts, drop your ideas, what you like, don't like, you know, just, just give feedback or, you know, just get your questions ready and, and we'll, I'll get them answered. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just going to give a quick demo and then um, jump back to questions. Okay. So custom templates, you'll see it right here. It's uh, you click on it and here's where you can design your own templates. So I have two templates already designed. Um, I'm just going to make a new one, just show you what the process looks like. So I'm going to say start a new template. Then it's going to ask you, you want to do audio to video? That's coming soon. So we don't have that available. We have video to video. But the same idea, once we have this working for video to video, we're going to make an audio to video template builder. So all my podcasters out there, you're going to be able to custom design really, like really nice designs. You can really customize what you want the uh, templates for your audio to video, but we need, we need a few more weeks before we get that out. So our focus again is video to video and you can go to either vertical or square. So the assumption here is you already have a horizontal video, kind of a sideways video like this, and you can convert it to vertical or square. Those are the two options right now. So let's just pick vertical for now. And I am just gonna say vertical test one, whatever, give it a name and say next. And then you get this, visual builder tool. So I'm going to walk you through it again. This may change as we go along. It, it, not it will, it, it will change for sure. Right. This is just kind of a basic concept of how it works, but you know, things will change. We'll have more and more options. So yeah, if you don't see exactly like this, don't, don't worry. <laughs> so you're going to go ahead. And so you're going to have, basically we have things called elements. So you have basically two elements, a headline and a subheadline. Right. Technically, there's three. There's the video, but we already placed the video for you, so you can't remove the video. So the video is always there. So you have the option of adding a headline or subheadline. So I'm just going to remove this and just start from scratch. So I'm going to add a headline. 
just gonna, you know, I can set it anywhere I want. I can have it down here, I can have it up here. Uh, typically the headline's on top, but again, you can experiment and put it anywhere you want. So don't forget, we're building a template. We're not actually building it for a particular episode. This is just a placeholder of where your headline will go. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it right on top. And then same idea with a subheadline. So subheadline, it drops in a little box here called subheadline. I'm just gonna just gonna make it a little bit bigger. Maybe I want to put it right here. Okay, great. So for each of these headline, subheadline, you have a bunch of options. I can go pick a font. Let's say I want to change the way it looks. Um, you know, I want to make the font a little bit bigger. You know, there's things you can experiment with to make it look the way you want. I can change the color to make it let's say blue, that kind of thing. All right, cool. So, and then same kind of deal. I can go ahead and change the font to even a different font if I wanted to. Uh, we're adding more and more fonts. Uh, this is just kind of the standard off the shelf fonts that we uh, are starting with, but let's just for demo purposes, let's go maybe this size here. Let's say size 20 looks good. So headline, subheadline, and video. I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can center it, offset it. Yeah, you can play around with this, no problem. So that's the first step. And then second step is we have the background. So right now it's white. We can make it blue. We can make it, you know, repurpose green, orange, you know, whatever color you want. You can pick your own colors. That's cool. But also you can drop in an image. So we have a bunch of images that kind of, you know, we're going to add more. These are just standard that we can throw in there as, you know, as things to kind of play around with. So you can pick one of ours or you can go to the upload section and upload any image you want. So backgrounds are for backgrounds, like literally the background. Images, images are cool because you can do two things with images. You can have an image. Let's say I got this image here. I can make it my background. So I can, I just dropped in my, this image. It looks like a very dark blue, I could, this is kind of the background we use inside the app. So let's say that's my background. I can set that to go, uh, send backwards, then backwards. So I can make an image that I uploaded as a background, or let's say you have a logo or, you know, any kind of image, let's maybe a small image you want to include in your template. Uh, let's see if I have a small square logo here. I should have been more prepared. Oh, let's say that one. Okay, cool. So I can upload an image and I can put that anywhere in my template. So, so an image can, let's say I want to brand it this way. So my logo is always on the bottom, right? Or always up here above the headline or whatnot. So I can always have an image to be part of my template design. So I, you know, I like this, I'm going to keep this blue and I'm going to change the sub headline to white because my background is dark. Let's just do that for now. Cool. So this is it. Just to recap, you have elements, headline, subheadline, and a video. I can move the video around, um, just up and down to where I want it. Typically in the middles where we usually have it, you can add a background, select a color, select a pattern, or you can go to the upload section and upload your own background, which is what I did here. And, or, and upload your own, let's say logo or any graphic that you want and place it anywhere on your image. We're thinking of adding more stuff down the road, like maybe some emoji icons, some, some more fun stuff, but this is what we have kind of, you know, let's start with the simple and that still has a ton of value for everybody here. All right, hit save. My template saved. All right, rock and roll, close that. Here's my template, vertical test one. Okay, so that's my template and let's go to any workflow. All right, so I have a workflow here. So if I go to view videos, just like before, here are my templates. I go into my settings and in the past, we had the option to do original, vertical, or square. If you have beta access with this feature, you'll have the option for custom templates. It brings up the window. You can pick which of your templates you wanna use. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one, vertical test one. And the rest of the settings are still the same. So we still have the watermark settings. Uh, we have the option to burn in the captions or not. So these are all we're, are currently there in our software from before. So I can burn captions or not burn captions. 
Um, I can put some default text here that appears uh, if I don't have the captions burnt, which is my sub subheadline text. So everything here is not changed. The only difference is instead of picking vertical or square, then selecting your colors, you can do that from the custom templates. Uh, sorry, instead of, <laughs> I apologize, instead of picking vertical or square, you can now choose custom templates that you've designed. That's it, we hit save and boom. Okay, now let's go to the publishing. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish. Let's, uh, this one's pretty short. I'm gonna publish this guy here. Say publish. So what it does is it took the title for my video and it dropped it in. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, it might be hard to see. So it dropped in the title automatically for me here. So this was the title from uh, my video. And then it took the subheadline text from my workflow settings. So I said, I wanna use subheadline. I don't wanna use captions, I wanna use subheadline. This is the text that was there before and I dropped it in. Now, if I don't like it or I wanna tweak this, I can just go in here and just, just tweak this now. I want, uh, our new our new template I can't type today but it's acting a little funny don't worry it's beta right <laughs> template builder so this is kind of uh let me zoom out a little bit so this is your opportunity to tweak what it looks like if you want to have this on the second line etc so you can tweak it the way you want and move it around. Now we're still trying to iron out a few little bugs here, a little quirks, but that's the idea. I can resize this, I can do anything I want with it. And then same thing here, this is my text. Let's say for example, I wanna test a new color, or I don't like this, uh, this color to be here, and I wanna test it to be yellow, green. You can do that, play around with line settings, whatnot, boom. So I'm, I can customize it on a per video basis. Okay, so let's move this like this, and let's do that. I can, I can do center, left, right, you know, whatever I want. It's all good, good fun. And so what you see here is the, basically the video, the main video from Facebook, in this case it's going from Facebook, it's gonna be set right here. The video will have the progress bar built into it. And so all we're doing is we're just customizing the headline and subheadline background image. And in this case, we have our logo. And say next. Um, so I pulled in the title, the subheadline, all that good stuff. I can just Let's say I wanna burn the captions, I can say burn the captions, use, use captions from Facebook and burn them in. Uh, if I do that, it's gonna replace the subheadline. So it won't use subheadline, it'll use captions. Or I can just, just say, you know what, I just want this text to appear here and then hit publish now. So that's, that's it in a nutshell, in a very short summary is the fact that we have the ability to Let's see if this is gonna go. Okay, I'll leave it for a few minutes and I'll come back and check on it. Ability to now design the template, pick it to assign it to a workflow, and then when you publish an episode, a video, you can tweak it if you want to, so that you can even make each particular video a little unique if you want to do that. So you start with a template and you add more customizations to it. All right, so I'm gonna let it process for a few minutes and oops, I'm gonna head back to StreamYard, stop sharing for a second, oops, and check the comments. Awesome, so what do you guys think? People saying this looks great, this looks cool, can't wait. Awesome, awesome, thank you so much. I, I can't wait to get this out. Um, really, it's really been, well, it's been in the works for a few months. I've mentioned it in a few other trainings, but this is something that I feel it's been missing. Uh, I mean, we have customizations in terms of colors and stuff, but this is, takes it a whole new level so that you can A, build a template, B, make individual tweaks to individual episodes. And I think that's really important because some people like templates, but you know, maybe after posting a few times that they say, you know what, I wanna, you know, in this episode, I wanna just change the, the font to be red. I wanna test red. Uh, I want to test, maybe make one word bigger or one word smaller. Like you have really like a video, sorry, specific episodes, specific video customizations, which I think is really powerful. All right. All right. All right. So yeah. Thank you, Tanya. It's, it's something we've been, uh, yeah, I've been really wanting to do this a lot earlier and, um, uh, I'm, I'm so glad it's here. A whole new level. Exactly. That's, it's really a whole new level. Um, so 
that's it in a nutshell. Let me go and quickly see if that video is done. It's a short video. It shouldn't take long. Let's have a quick look. No, it's not done. Actually, I see some kind of error. Oh, there's something wrong with my Dropbox connection. Oh, interesting. I can't show you that. Okay, so yeah, again, you try and do a live demos. The uh, there was an issue processing. I wish I can show you the final product. Let me just give it one more go and see if it goes through. Just bear with me for one second. But uh, yeah, so while I'm doing this, basically, if you have if you want to be a beta tester and you haven't done it, go to repurpose.io and go, sorry, repurpose.io slash beta. It will send you to a form, two questions. I just want to know, you know, what emails you use to log into your account so that we can see you know, what kind of workflows you're working on and see if you're a good fit to be a beta tester. And, and then, yeah, and then just let us know if you're using this feature currently. And uh, yeah, we're going to, I think it's going to be a week or two probably two weeks before we start rolling out the beta. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for for feedback. I'm, just, I'm gonna bear with me for one second. Usually uh, Young is with me. She can look at the comments, answer the questions while I deal with any tech issues. But it seems like I didn't uh, had an issue with my Dropbox. I have to reconnect my Dropbox really quick. So let me just go reconnect that. And then I'm gonna publish that again. And I wanna show you the final product. I mean, that's the coolest part of it all, right? I mean, it's fun to see the template, but it's always fun to see the final product. So let me go here and republish that and see if we can make it happen again. All right, one second. So if you have questions, definitely, uh, definitely drop them now. Whether it's about repurpose or about the templates or about you know anything that you want to discuss. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to answer anything right now. Um, this training is meant to give you a sneak peek of what we're doing, but also meant to uh, give you the opportunity to, to ask questions, some questions that you've you know, always wondered um, about. Okay, I'm gonna let it go. It's, if it doesn't work, no worries. I have another video I made yesterday so I can show you what that looks like, uh, which is kind of cool. So boom, let me just jump quickly back to StreamYard and Happy to answer any questions. So, all right. Per episode makes a difference. Yes, absolutely, Nancy. I think that's that's big. I think that's big because, like I said, you want to test. You want to make changes. You don't want to keep changing your template, but you want to test on individual episodes. That's why we did it. I think that's I think that's awesome. Fred said this feature is ridiculous. <laughs> that's amazing. Thank you, Fred. No, I. I Again, I, I sound like a broken record because I every time we release a new feature, I get so excited. I'm like, this is the best feature ever. And then we come up and release another feature. I'm like, this is the best feature ever. I, honestly, like we just, we love this stuff. We love this stuff. And we, you know, this is all based on feedback from, from you guys. So users from Repurpose Ninjas, that's what I like to call you guys, um, getting us feedback, coming to the trainings, um, you know, in, this, in the Facebook group, just giving us feedback. That's so, so important. Hey, it's beta. I'm used to things not not going as expected. Absolutely. Oh man, I'm famous for trying to demo things when super early, and because I get too excited, I can't wait, and then it doesn't run as smoothly. But I I know that everyone here watching appreciates that it's beta, and everybody appreciates that it will work. Right? It's just some you know we're still ironing out the glitches. Um, all right, so, doo -doo 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 -doo. okay, so, okay, I'm gonna come, Tanya's got a good question. I'm gonna come back to that really quick. Uh, what's saying, I never realized how powerful this feature is without giving an update. Uh, there's an app called Headline, Repurpose does so much more. Yeah, yeah, has an app called Headliner. It, you know, it does similar things to sort of more on the podcasting side, but I feel like, you know, we got the automation built in. We're focusing on the automation, and now with this template builder, yeah, uh, you can have the, uh, the customizations as well. So you kind of get best of both world automation and customization. All right, Cheryl, thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, with en enhancements, we're all, we're always working. We're always like up and working. I'm going to get to Tanya's question in a second. Uh, but before I do that, I'm just going to pop back and share my screen. And let's, I think I'm hoping that it, uh, has gone through this time. Oh yeah, it has gone through. Okay. Wild. So let's, uh, I'm gonna copy this link. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna copy that link. 
Okay. Come on. Copy link. Copy link. Okay. I have to stop sharing for a second and jump to another screen because my Dropbox is... Let me just stop sharing and stop sharing and then share it again. Okay, so what does it look like? I'm gonna show you two samples, one that I did yesterday. I think it was yesterday, but I'll show you the one we just did now. All right, there we go. So this is the one we just did now. I'm not sure if it's uh, hard to, I'll try to zoom in a bit. So we got our template background. Uh, it got the title, nice blue. We got the yellow uh, default, uh, yeah, it's not default, the yellow subheadline. We had the video, it's got the progress bar. Uh, all that good stuff that we set up in a template, our logo on the bottom, etc. The possibilities are endless. Like this is just obviously a sample, but just the fact that you can customize everything. I was just playing around for fun. I'm like, what if I make the you know the text spin a little bit just to make it look a little different, like the headline angle a bit. So here's another example as well. So really, obviously. The design, it's up to you guys to go crazy with it and have fun with it. And that's why we made this tool very flexible. Um, something we are thinking about is adding some custom templates, some uh, templates you can choose from to help you get going. Uh, probably not in the initial beta, but we would definitely look at adding uh, templates uh, for people who, you know, don't want to spend too much time designing. They can just take on one of our templates and then just modify it. Uh, so, but initially the beta would be, you know, it's a free for all. You can have fun with it and do, do what you want. And it's not, there's not too many options. You either drop in a background uh, and then choose from fonts and colors for the headline and subheadline, and that's it. All right, let me just stop the screen sharing, jump back to here and look at the questions. Yeah, I love the flexibility. Thank you, thank you. Uh, my case, I had to modify each release, so this is great. Yeah, yes, exactly. So totally, we feel your pain. That's why in the currently, you have the settings and you can't change it unless you change your template, uh, and change your workflow settings, but now you can do it individually. Okay. So amazing. Amazing. This was awesome. I, I was, I'm happy. I'm, I'm loving the feedback. Um, any other questions? Hey Andy, what's up? What's up? Thanks for being, Oh, we lost it. There he is. Thanks for being here, man. Uh, free for all play and create. Yes. Be creative, be creative. Uh, this will be so helpful. I have to watch the replay. It's really short. Uh, basically, um, we have a custom template builder, Andy, that uh, lets you design your own template. So that when you convert to vertical and square videos, you could really design. Basically, it's like almost like a mini version of Canva built into repurpose. Um, yeah, just as soon as we're done, you can just hit rewind and watch the first 10 minutes. It's, uh, you'll love it. You will love it. I know you're using this feature. Okay, cool. Any question? I'm gonna, Tanya's got a question about the problem she was having. Uh, but before we move past this template stuff, any questions, thoughts, again, as a reminder, it's scrolling across the bottom here. If you want to be a beta tester, uh, just go to repurpose.io slash beta. Uh, we're going to roll out the program in about one to two weeks and just contact people individually who are good candidates to, to give us feedback. And, uh, we'll slowly add more and more people to, to the program. And, um, you know, hoping to have this out you know, maybe in to everybody, what are we in? We're in July already. So yeah, probably in, in August, once we get all the beta feedback, uh, and we, you know, tweak and we fix things and make it just make the experience nice for everybody right now. I know myself, I'm very picky. Uh, so there's a couple of things that I find a little bit quirky. So, you know, we're working on those, but I want to make it a pleasant experience. So once we roll out to everybody, everyone has a great experience and, and really enjoys the builder. Uh, Gospel's got a great question. Can we change the colors and fonts to match our branding? Yes. And well, yes, uh, we have a list of fonts that you can choose from and we're going to add more and more fonts. But if you do have a custom font or you have your own font, I have to ask, that's a great question. I have to ask if, um, initially I would say it won't be available to upload your own fonts. Just, it just might add extra work. It might make things a little complicated, but I think if, um, if you have a font, maybe you can send us the font and we can look about look into adding it to our system so initially we're going to have i think we have about 10 15 fonts to choose from and then we'll just keep adding as we go along but the colors for sure you can pick the colors for headline sub headline the outline of the color you know you can really pick what you want uh in, in the template builder 
Amazing, amazing. Okay, any other questions about the template builder before I move on to kind of anything else about repurpose? I know Tanya had a question, so I don't want to leave Tanya hanging for too long. Um, I had a problem with my latest published color went back to default and captions didn't show up. Uh, okay, color went back to default. That's strange. Um, I guess if I only, my, without diving deep into it, if you were to, let me just share my screen quickly. Uh, if you were to go into the workflow settings, are these what show what's showing in the workflow settings? Are they correct, or or you're saying these ones reset back to the default? Um, I'm not sure how it would reset the default. To be honest, uh, it's probably some kind of technical glitch. So I would say just go back to the workflow settings and just recheck these colors, and then check this setting here that if you want it to burn the captions to Facebook. Make sure that's enabled or disabled um, based on your settings. Yeah, I, if something did happen, I, I apologize. I don't know without looking deeper. But to go, um, the quicker solution is to go in here, reset the colors, and then turn this on if that's what you want. And then hit save again. And then going forward, it should uh, it should be good to go. But if it does, does keep happening, let us know. I send an email to our support saying this is happening multiple times. And we'll, we'll dig into it. Maybe there's something that's causing settings to reset. All right, all right. Yeah, so is there, yeah, right there, the colors chain back instead of holding my hex code, huh? On, I wonder if it's all the workflows, or is it uh, just the one? That'd be interesting to see. If maybe you could try checking a few other workflows and see if uh, they all reset, or maybe that's just the one has a glitch. Uh, start over, reconnect all the apps. I think. Yeah, yeah, not, uh, reconnecting is separate, but I would check the settings. I wouldn't bother reconnecting yet. I would just check the settings, the workflow settings, and just just check them all, all the different workflows, make sure that they're all still good. Maybe something kind of reset for a weird reason. It shouldn't, um, but yeah, something might have happened. Huh, okay. Uh, great question. So Fred's got a great question. Can we import and use captions created by other software? Yes, 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 we can. Uh, well, we can do that right now. And you'll be able to do that continue to do that as well with the template builder. So let me explain that a little bit. So there are many ways to uh, use captions. Let me share my screen really quick here. So with captions, if your workflow is starting with Facebook, and you have um, the captions turned on on your Facebook video, you can go uh, in your settings here and just say, hey, I want you to use the captions. We have, it's called burn or embed Facebook captions into video. Uh, just make sure that's on. So that's kind of the easiest way to do it. So when you go in and you hit publish, um, I mean, you won't see this because this is the, the new thing, but you will see something like this. Uh, you can choose, uh, Facebook video caption, use captions from Facebook. But if you're not using Facebook or, you know, let's say your video is from Zoom or your video is from Dropbox or your video, you know, you're starting from a video source that's not Facebook or it is Facebook and you don't like their transcription because sometimes it is quirky and this doesn't work well. Let's, and you have your own captions file, your own SRT file. Um, let's say Otter. Otter is a great, great platform. It's very inexpensive. Um, it's like under $100 a year and you get thousands of minutes of transcription and it's really great. Um, but anyway, so what you would do is you would just say upload caching file. So you can say upload caching file, uh, browse, pick the SRT file, and then we will use that in the video when we create the captions and burn them into your video. And the other way to do it is if you have a Dropbox folder, let's say you're starting from Dropbox, and what you can do is if you put, it's a little trick that we should be telling more people about. Um, I think it's mentioned in our free training. If you have a video, let's say it's called handy.mp4, and then you make another video in the same folder in the Dropbox called handy.srt, and then you make a workflow that would repurpose a video from Dropbox from that folder, our software will detect, oh, hey, I have a video and I see an SRT with the same name. I'm going to assume that you want to use that captions for your video. So what that means is you can 
have your video, you can have your SRT file generated with Otter or any transcription service. Make sure they're named the same, put them in a Dropbox folder and then repurpose from there and repurpose our software will detect that and automatically just burn that in automatically give you the option to burn it in. So you can choose, it would say use captions from Dropbox. It's very smart to pick that up and it'll tell you, Hey, use captions from Dropbox, or you can still have the option to upload it your own manually. All right. I'm talking a lot. So I hope, uh, hope that answered that question, Fred. That's a great question. I love Otter. Yeah. I love Otter too. It's great. It's and so inexpensive and it works really, really well. So for those, uh, I mean, they have, I think they have a free trial. That's they used to have a really good free trial. And then uh, I think they changed it. So now you can't export an SRT file, which is a captions file where we use to burn into uh, videos. So unfortunately you have to go to a paid account, but the paid account, I think it's, I want to say it's under a hundred dollars for the year and you get hundreds of minutes or long. I can't remember now. It's very, it, it's very generous. Let's put it that way. It's probably the best value you can get for automatic transcriptions and the quality is amazing. And one thing I, I love about Otter is that you can train it, not train it. You can give it a list of words that you use a lot. Like for example, in my case, I say repurpose IO a lot in my videos. Hey, repurpose IO, repurpose IO. It would mess it up before. But then if I put repurpose IO as one of the keywords inside of Otter, it will know that, oh, he's saying repurpose dot IO. And then it will start replacing those words with my corrected words. So you can give it like, my name is difficult for it to catch. So I can give it, um, I can tell it my name. I can put a list of words that I used quite frequently that are not traditional words, like my name, repurpose.io, and it will start automatically using those instead of what it thinks it should use. So it's, it's pretty smart. It's very smart actually. Yeah. Happy scribe. I've, I've heard good things about happy scribe. Um, they have an absolute, okay. That's awesome. Yeah. For those who are experimenting. Um, the only thing, if you want to like take those captions and bring them to repurpose, just make sure that software, and I think most of them do can export, um, and what's called an SRT. I forget what it stands for subtitle, something, something. It's not important. As long as you can export an SRT file from that transcription service, you can either upload it to uh, repurpose, or you can put it into your Dropbox and actually a third way of doing it. If you're using Facebook as your primary source, what I would do is do the video, upload it to Facebook. And then let's say I'm using Otter and grab the SRT from Otter and put it on Facebook. So you can actually upload your own SRT to Facebook. So when you do that, then you don't have to upload it to repurpose. You upload it to Facebook one time. And then all the repurposing that you do from Facebook will automatically use those caption files. So that's a third way. So either upload to repurpose, put it in a Dropbox in the same Dropbox folder as your video or just upload it directly to Facebook. If that's your main source for repurposing. All right, Fred was just saying about the comment about that. That's why I asked about the captions because they do this really good. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So happy scribe. Yes. Awesome. Happy scribe can produce SRT. Amazing. So that's good for those who are looking for a service, uh, check out happy scribe. I'm not sure the details about the deal that they have on AppSumo, but Deals are usually good. You get a lot of value for, uh, um, for, I don't know if it's a one-time fee or, or at least heavily discounted. So those looking, I've used Otter. Uh, I've heard good things about happy scribe and they seem to have an app sumo deal, which is awesome too. All right. And then they do export. That's awesome. Amazing. 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 All right. Any other questions or concerns? Uh, I'm just going to throw this out there again for those who have not seen it, uh, who have not gone through our course called the repurpose blueprint. Highly, highly recommend it. Uh, it's a free course. It's available to everybody, uh, at repurpose.io slash blueprint. And honestly, the feedback has just been um, overwhelmingly amazing. Um, because it really breaks down how to really take advantage of repurpose, how to use it to the max, how to take a single video and have 25 pieces of content all scheduled out to go for the entire week using repurpose plus a few other small tools that are free, like the Facebook uh, creator studio. So it really walks you through like step-by-step. Step. If you're a podcaster, here's exactly what to do. Make this workflow. Here's how you make the workflow. Like I spent, I like literally did it all, um, to walk you through 
from putting my podcasting hat on, here's what I would do. Put on my you know, live streaming hat. Here's what I would do. Put on my video creation hat and here's what I would do. So there's all these workflows to, to talk about and walk you through how to do that. So that's, um, it's really been very helpful for people who are, who are just kind of like have a few workflows going, but they don't know how to really take advantage of it. So I would say definitely check out the, the repurpose blueprint. It's absolutely free. I think most people, uh, and we sent a few emails about it, but I'm just going to mention it here. And so it's at repurpose.io slash blueprint and it's free. I'm just going to throw it up here as a comment here. So yeah, check it out. And so it's, I think you'll love it. I mean, we have some videos about uh, how to create videos. Um, if you're like content ideas on how to create, we also have videos about, let's say you're thinking of starting a podcast. It describes like, what's a podcast? What's a podcast host? And what are the different pieces to a podcast? Uh, we have a crash course in live streaming. Hey, if you want to live stream, uh, you should you you know, you can use a free tool from Facebook. You should use, uh, you can use what were you doing now? We're using StreamYard. So I like give a quick demos of how to use those three tools and BeLive is also another great tool. So I, you know, I walk you through basically trying to eliminate any excuse not to create content. Uh, so from the creation stage to the tools that you need to how to repurpose it with repurpose. So it's, it's an amazing course. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Tanya so much. Yeah. It's really, that, that, that was the goal. We felt like we got a lot of questions that are like, I love repurpose, but just, I don't feel like I'm getting the most out of it. So it really breaks it down step by step. So definitely highly, highly recommend it. Uh, awesome. All right. I'm trying to think of what else. Um, oh, well, since we're talking about things coming up, uh, in this in the next couple of weeks as well, uh, we've have it's, it's a big feature, but it's not something that's as big as a template builder, but, uh, we've had a lot of feedback from people saying that they hate recreating the timestamps for every workflow. For example, if I make a workflow from Facebook to vertical, so, you know, my intention is to go to IGTV and then I want to make, uh, and then I make a bunch of clips there. Like I, you know, I make one minute clip here, one minute clip. I spent all the effort making clips and then I want to do a workflow to go to square so I can go to LinkedIn and I want to make another one to go to Twitter. I have to redo those timestamps for every single workflow. So we're, we're adding a feature where you can say, Hey, I want you to copy or copy or stay in sync with this workflow, meaning, Hey, I'm going to make all the snippets in one workflow. And then any other workflow can be, will have those same clips already made for you. So you make them once and then it, it applies them to many other workflows. So that's going to be a huge time saver as well. So that you don't have to, you know, invest the time to redo the timestamps or rewrite down the times and manually edit it for each workflow. You do it for one workflow and then you link the ones that you want together so that they all basically synchronize so that you do it once. It's hard to explain. Um, I haven't seen it. Yet, I'll be honest with you. We, we kind of met with the team. We define what, what it looks like. I haven't had a chance to play with it, but definitely is something that's a pain point that, that repurpose users have is, and I totally agree. You shouldn't have to recreate timestamps for every single workflow, do it once. And then we'll take care of that for you for the other workflows. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of other fixes and improvements in it, but definitely the, the our next release, which is rolling out, I want to say two weeks, one to two weeks, we'll have beta access. The biggest thing is this beta that we're working on right now uh, with the template builder. Uh, so you can create some really cool for those who are popping in late, you can basically create some really cool videos like, like these basically fully customizable with background. You can put your logos, um, you can kind of set the fonts position where you want the video. Like if you want the video on top and then title on the bottom, oops, sorry about that. you have flexibility to do what you want. All right. All right. All right. I think, uh, I think we covered. Um, yeah. Thank you, Tanya, for all the feedback. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is what it's all about. Right. Um, I create, like I'm a content creator. I like creating stuff and I like to make tools to make my life easier. And then that's how repurpose and all the, all the, the software we've created started, but now it's not about me. It's like, what, what, do, what do you guys like, what does the repurpose community want to do? And 
And when you tell me what you want, I'm always thinking, how do I make that even easier? So I, 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 I'm glad that you mentioned, I appreciate that you mentioned that because my, my focus is time, is to save you time. So there's tools that let you do everything, but you still got to do everything uh, for every video. So we're always, I'm always thinking, how do I automate? How do I templatize, if that's even a word? Uh, how, do I, uh, how do I do those things to make your life easier so that you can, you know, the vision is create once and publish everywhere. Uh, and that's what we try to allow you to do as a content creator. Okay, uh, I think we're about 45 minutes in. That was amazing. Uh, I'm glad. I appreciate you for showing up. Um, I, you know, we're going to be more consistent with our training. We do it every month. We've been slipping a little bit to a month and a half. Um, I'm probably going to slip a little bit in the summer because it's just summer, summer. And <laughs> But just because we're not making trainings doesn't mean that we're not creating. We're always creating. The team is, has grown quite a bit, actually. And, you know, we're just building more and more fun stuff. And, um, yeah, again, repurpose.io slash beta. If you're curious, not curious, if you're interested in going through, you know, the beta testing experience, it's not going to be perfect. I'll warn you. I'll be 100% honest. You saw me here. I tried to publish and things didn't quite work the first time. And then I did it again and it worked. You know, if you have that room, that time, that curiosity, and you want to make the product better by giving us feedback, um, a would really appreciate it and b just head over to repurpose.io uh, slash beta and uh, just fill out a quick form and uh, we'll be reaching out to kind of one-on-one -on -one basis and i might even hop on a call with you and just get your feedback on it. i'm not sure how to do that we've never done a beta we never launched a feature in beta before I and mean, we've launched a software in beta like four, four years ago or three and a half years ago but um we've never launched a beta feature so this will be new to us and um, i'm looking forward to to getting feedback from like the heavy, uh, heavy users of this feature and just to make it better for everyone. All right, so if there's no more questions, I think we're gonna wrap up. Thank you everybody for, for being here. Thank you for the great questions. Thank you for just the support, for just well, taking the time to show up and, and uh, giving your thoughts on what you saw so far. And I look forward to getting uh, you know, a handful of beta users and uh, rocking it, like just making this feature really, really, slick so that everyone really gets a good experience out of it all right bye everyone i will talk to you soon